Why was Ian Harding worried about Shay Mitchell becoming a mom? Which two stars' wedding weekend included a serenade by Keegan Allen? And which actor used to date Lana Del Rey's sister? Hi, I'm Janet, and you're watching Asa. Let's go. Shay Mitchell. And when people are like, so what does it feel like kissing a girl? I'm like, it's pretty awesome. I actually almost prefer it sometimes right. because they always smell pretty. Her role as a lesbian character naturally led to speculation about her real life sexuality. Are you gay? Are you straight? Are you this? Are you that? Are just some of the questions fired her way. This must have got quite tiring for Shay. Luckily, she always had a response at the ready. You love who you love. Black, white, polka dot. That's what my dad always said. Clearly, she's not into labels and won't have society define her, just like her character Emily. That said, do you want to know who she's with at the moment? She's been in a committed relationship with the Canadian TV host and music journalist Matt Babel for about three years. Not everything has been moonshine and roses for Shay and Matt, though. Last summer, Shay opened up about having been blindsided by a miscarriage the prior year. Did she let this loss prevent her from future happiness? I'm relieved to tell you, no. The second time around, she was more cautious about revealing her pregnancy announcement. Yeah, she and Babel were expecting, and she waited till she was about six months along before she released a YouTube video titled, Guess Who's Preggers? In it, she explains why she kept the early stages secret. The best part? The couple's baby girl was born late last year. Her name is Atlas Noah, and her mom is totally smitten. So, can we expect to see wedding bells anytime soon? That's unclear, but one thing is for sure. Atlas would make the sweetest flower girl. Ian Harding. Why on earth was he worried about his co-star Mitchell becoming a mom? He admitted that he's seen her violent side and how it's been reserved for him. His main worry? I think what will happen is because you don't want to take it out on the child, right. you would just call me up and say, exactly. like, hey, do you want to come for dinner? And then I show up punching back and just beaten nearly to death. What a joker. Mitchell played along and said he would indeed make an excellent punching bag. Jokes aside, what's up with his dating life? The actor prefers to keep his relationship far away from the public eye. I think what happens is the moment that you open up, it's now open for everybody to discuss. And in this line of work, you have to give so much of yourself that to have something private is a novelty. That said, do we know whether he's dating someone? Affirmative. In fact, he's in it for the long haul with one lady love. Harding's been dating the photographer and set designer Sophie Hart for nine years. You probably know the actor's mom was diagnosed with lupus and that he's made it his life's mission to inform the public of the condition. Well, Sophie's been by his side through it all. Even though he's clearly happily settled, many fans are still wondering, was a romance between Ian and his co-star Lucy Hale ever on the cards? Let's just say, if Hale had her way, then yes. Keep watching for more on that. Troy and Belisario. Whether you're a Suits viewer or not, I just want to point out that this guy plays a lead role in it. You might also remember his face from a 2010 appearance on Pretty Little Liars as Ezra's friend Hardy. Meet Patrick J. Adams, Suits star and Troyan's real-life hubby. Let's check out their relationship timeline. The two first met 11 years ago on the set of the play Equivocation. It wasn't necessarily love at first sight, but after a few breakups and makeups, they realized they were meant to be together. In 2014, the couple confirmed their engagement. Troyan even celebrated her bachelorette getaway in Italy with none other than her fellow Pretty Little Liar stars, Shay and Ashley. What a close cast. Belisario later got to guest star on Suits alongside her fiance. And to top it off, the couple attended the former Suits star, Meghan Markle, and Prince Harry's royal wedding. About their own wedding, it was something special indeed. The couple was wed by equivocation playwright Bill Kane. Quite touching, considering if it wasn't for his play, they might not have met. During an outdoors, camp-themed wedding weekend, there were 200 witnesses, which included most of the Pretty Little Liars cast. There were even 25 surprise acts dedicated to the newlyweds in a talent show, and Troyan's co-star Keegan Allen serenaded them. He said it was strange, so they everything changed. Instead of gifts, the duo asked guests to donate to two charities. The couple said, Our dream was to have a weekend that not just celebrated our wedding, but thanked our incredible community of friends and family that have been so instrumental in helping us survive seven years of a long-distance relationship. Sounds like the best weekend ever. And if you haven't heard the best part yet, two years ago, they welcomed their first child, a daughter, into the world and lived happily ever after.
Tyler Blackburn You might remember the relationship rumors flying around about Tyler and Ashley back during their Pretty Little Liars days. He's since said they never dated officially, but that in navigating the relationship as co-workers and friends, sometimes the lines blurred a little. They had periods where they felt more for each other, but ultimately, they're good buds. In an interview with The Advocate, the actor has since revealed that he's bisexual and has identified as such since his teen years. While growing up in LA, he resisted coming to terms with his identity for many reasons. For one, he was picked on for being effeminate, which made him feel ashamed and destroyed his self-esteem. I got bullied by a lot of other boys, and I just felt like my soul was slowly being taken from me. It's no wonder that he didn't feel safe, and sad that he had to mute his true self for the sake of society. On the bright side, now that he's come out, he's also been a bit more forthcoming about his relationships. Well, forthcoming in a secretive way. He recently said he's dating an amazing guy, although he still hasn't revealed who he is. Do you have any ideas? Share with us in the comments! Lucy Hale Let's address the lingering question. Were Hale and Harding ever together? They're certainly close friends, but as far as we know, they've never taken their friendship into romantic territory. However, Lucy was cornered into admitting that her mind once went in that direction. In a segment on one of Ellen DeGeneres' YouTube series, Hale had to answer, never have I ever had a crush on a cast member. She eventually came clean, exclaiming, Oh, whatever, it was Ian. There we go. Ian Hardy. <laughs> this is Ethan the good won. stuff. Whatever, I was 20. As you've learned, her former crush is happily taken. So, can the same be said for Lucy? Not exactly. The actress's love life is more of a relay race than a marathon. She and her musician boyfriend, Anthony Calabretta, broke up three years ago. After that, she reportedly moved on with her Life Sentence co-star, Riley Smith. Sadly, their romance fizzled out eventually. Earlier this year, she was romantically linked to the former Bachelor star, Colton Underwood. But a few months ago, Underwood denied dating Hale, insisting he's a single man. Who knows but them? If you've got any info, do let us know. Keegan Allen where else to start than putting the rumors that he's gay to rest? Yeah, yeah, it's probably old news, but just in case you missed it, the photos of him jumping into bed with his Palo Alto co-star, James Franco, were a joke, intended to blow up Twitter for a second. In terms of his dating history, let's just say you'll need to keep track. Ready, set, go. Back in 2012, there was a rumor about a fling with his co-star, Shay. What we do know with a little more certainty is his relationship with Chuck Grant. She's the younger sister of American singer-songwriter Lana Del Rey. Reportedly, the pair were together for about three years before they split. Currently, it looks like he's been dating the model, Ali Collier, for about four years now. A few months before they met, he shared his relationship goals. Obviously, there needs to be an attraction between both parties involved. But after that attraction, I like women who are driven and follow their passions and are great at something. Well, it seems like Allie ticks all the boxes, because they're still going strong. Ashley Benson Although Hannah and Caleb had chemistry on screen and were besties off screen, Ashley shot down rumors that they were ever a real life couple. She dated Justin Bieber's swagger coach and producer, Ryan Good. The pair were on again, off again between 2011 and 2015. She told Cosmo how much she appreciates Ryan for his strength and positive influence on others. However, they had to end things eventually because of their hectic work schedules. I work 20 hour days, so I'm always gone, so a lot of your relationship is on the phone, and I chatting and trying to catch up. On another note, Benson once said she doesn't think she'll be able to date a high-profile actor the way Angelina Jolie has. It seems she's changed her views because she started dating Cara Delevingne, her co-star on the film Her Smell, two years ago. Nothing wrong with changing your views as you mature. Last year, Delevingne told E! News Benson made her feel like the luckiest girl in the world. Sadly, 2020 took its toll on them as the couple reportedly ended things earlier this year. Ashley has since been romantically linked to the rapper g -E According to inside sources, they bonded during the quarantine and are super serious after six months of dating and, quote, are definitely having fun and doing well. The pair made it Instagram official earlier this month. Sasha Petersa. Just the two of us. Maybe next week we'll climb a tree. The actress married her long-term love two years ago in Ireland. The lucky guy is the actor, stunt performer, and production assistant Hudson Schaefer. We did a really fun photo shoot on the cliffs, which turned out incredible. Obviously our wedding day. Actual wedding day. Our actual wedding day at, um, at the Castle Leslie, which mm -hmm. was so fun. In real life, Sasha had an uphill battle with polycystic ovarian syndrome, aka PCOS, 
it made her gain weight, and the condition is often linked to difficulty falling pregnant. Naturally, she was ecstatic to announce her pregnancy on their second wedding anniversary earlier this year. You'll be glad to hear their first child, little Hendrix Wade, has since made his grand entrance. Sharing photos on Insta, she said motherhood is officially her favorite role ever. A lot of women have infertility issues, and so we were expecting more difficulty. So it's been an absolute blessing that we were able to just get pregnant by ourselves. The pregnancy even relieved her PCO symptoms, and she's hopeful it'll stay that way in the future. Janelle Parrish about five years ago, she was head over heels in Hawaii with her rocker beau, Justin Altamira. It turned out to be a summer fling, and she's since found her true love. Yeah, she's married, and it's not to a Pretty Little Liars co-star, and not even an actor. Her hubby, Chris Long, is a chemical engineer. When they officially tied the knot two years ago, she made it Instagram official with a snapshot of them in Hawaii. It's a favorite holiday destination for her, it seems. The Big Day's guest list looked a bit like a Pretty Little Liars cast reunion. Among the attendees were the Pretty Little Liars creator, Marlene King. Brendan Robinson was also seen posing in front of the signs from the Jurassic World movies. Janelle and Chris are enjoying married life and are going on many double dates with Sasha and Hudson. Yeah, the two female co-stars are besties in real life. Over to you. Which hookup surprised you the most? Don't be a liar. Are you also missing your favorite characters? We'd love to hear from you in the comments section. Stay honest and awesome.